at 6, a call to end the death penalty in Virginia. Dozens gathered at the state capitol today for a rally organized by exonerated death row inmates from across the country. 28 of them, in fact, they believe our justice system is sending too many innocent people to the death chamber, so they want you to call your congressman to stop executions. Our Sandra Jones is live in the newsroom with more. Sandra? Angela, from death to freedom, the group says they want to bring awareness to capital punishment. It's a controversial topic that stirred up much debate whether or not a convicted criminal should die for his crime. Today, those who survived death row have their own message. Standing at the bell tower in Capitol Square. Each one of those states were sure that we were guilty, sure that we were murderers, and we were monsters and deserved to die. More than two dozen exonerated death row inmates call themselves innocent victims. I can't explain how it hurts when I go somewhere and people are crying in a loud voice for the death of another human being. Shabaka Kulibi spent 10 years on death row after a Tampa, Florida jury convicted him of murder, rape, and robbery. He came within 15 hours of getting the electric chair before he was exonerated. Look around you. All of us have been charged and sentenced to death for the most heinous of crime, but they made a mistake. A mistake that impacted the life of Sabrina Butler Porter. I'm willing to fight as long as I can. I mean, help as long as I can. Every time the district attorney goes up for um, uh, re-election, I'm there to try to get him voted out because he's not right. At 17, she was convicted of murder in Columbia, Mississippi, sitting on death row for over two years until her case was overturned. It's very hard. I wouldn't wish that on my enemy. I mean, me being a child going in, I was scared. I didn't know what to do because I had never been in jail before. And that's the feeling of many in this crowd. But repealing the death penalty won't be easy since it's up to the governor to make that call. I have resisted bills to expand it. I'm waiting to get a governor who will actually sign a bill um, before we invest the energies necessary to pass a bill to repeal the death penalty. Now, supporters of the death penalty say it's the only justice that can be extended to murderers. They say it's better than life imprisonment because it kills the criminal right away. According to the U.S. death penalty statistics, two people were put to death in Virginia last year, more than two